Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Francis Griffin's Newlands is considered one of our country's most admired and most reviled politicians. He was born in Natchez in 1846 or 1848 to Scottish immigrants. His father was trained as a physician in Edinburgh and died in 1851. Newlands was raised in Illinois and Washington, D.C., studied at Yale, and graduated from what is today George Washington University Law School. Newlands married into a wealthy California family, but after his wife's death and a subsequent remarriage, he moved to Nevada in 1888. While representing that state in the U.S. House of Representatives, Newlands passed a resolution authorizing the annexation of the Republic of Hawaii. He also supported a greater federal role in conservation and pushed for federal funding in western arid land irrigation projects. He helped pass the Reclamation Act of 1902, also called the Newlands Act, which created what would become the Bureau of Reclamation. As a senator from Nevada, Newland supported the protection of the national forests and the creation of the National Park Service. And he served as a member of the subcommittee that investigated the 1912 sinking of the Titanic. Newlands and his partners developed Chevy Chase, Maryland, and large tracks around Burlingame, California. Unfortunately, like many pillars of the progressive era in the early 20th century, Newlands was also a racist. He was fearful of Japanese immigrants and in favor of repealing the 15th Amendment. In October 2014, historian Michael Green named Newlands as one of the top five most admired and most reviled Nevada politicians. Newland died on this day, December 24, 1917. Hi, I'm Cindy Catalan. I'm a volunteer for the National Park Service, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.